All right. So for the next example of uh, entire mobile, I'll be talking about what is known as the uh, entire mobile word, coli. Entire mobile coli. All right. So for this entire mobile coli, okay, this is the life cycle from the trophozoid to the pre cystic uh, pre stage to what? Okay, to the other one. So look at it when we're talking about the life cycle. Uh, these are the different shapes which you can find this organism in. All right, so for the entire mobile coli, you so that it's a non pathogenic because, like, normally it will not cause a problem to you. You get it? So it actually, actually resides in the human gastrointestinal tract. Right, so you guy in the stomach, right? So despite sharing a name with the bacterium and Shishai coli, these ones they are entirely different in nature. Okay. Okay, okay, that's why sharing a name with bacterium and Shishai coli. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Kishai coli, entire mobile coli. Okay, okay, okay. But they're actually different. Okay, this is, this is an entire mobile. That other is an Asia Richard, so they are quite different. So characteristics are actually what non-pathogenic. So they are generally what harmless. They do not cause a disease. Okay. Morphology is similar to what the pathogenic what entire mobile histolytica, which can lead to what diagnostic or confusion. These ones usually don't cause a problem. Okay, like morphology, they're talking about like the shape, but their shape is like the entire mobile histolytica. A life cycle. They exist as what trophozoids and cysts. So the trophozoid stage is what active, while the cyst is the infectious one that can survive outside the host for several months. Transmission is what the fecal oral route. Infections through what the ingestion of cyst from water that has been contaminated or food that has been contaminated. So poor hygiene practices is what? Okay, poor hygiene practices is another means of transmission. So contaminated hands of surfaces can actually contribute to transmission. Right. Diagnosis is where you are doing microscopy. <clears throat> so you want to what? Do a microscopy of these two samples to see if you can see the cyst or the trophozoids in it. Okay. Clinical relevance is um, most infections from this Escherichia coli generally are generally asymptomatic. Okay. So they do not actually cause symptoms in most cases. But if symptoms do occur, they are usually just mild. And they include just gastrointestinal discomfort. They are also important in diagnosis. So differentiating them from the uh, entire mobile histolytica is actually what's crucial to avoid unnecessary treatment. Because if it is the uh, entire mobile cola, you don't really need to treat because they will, do not cause infections or they cause very mild infections. Significance is an uh, indication of contamination. So if you see the entire mobile coli, in the case that there's contamination, although they might not cause problems, but in the case that there's a problem coming up again. So that's it.